Boop. Happy Thursday, right? Today is Thursday. Uh, it's been a busy day. Um, lots of stuff going on. Just got back from having lunch with a bunch of students down at Jefferson's uh, because we can't really do food stuff here because, you know, COVID. Um, and uh, so just got back. That's why this is so late. And um, got a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to get stuff figured out about how to use the acapella app. And I think we're getting close to having all those things uh, worked out after setting up three different or four different professional accounts um, and getting everybody on board for that because no matter what they tell you, um, you're going to need more than one pro account anyway. But um, so if you like, uh, if you're, you know, college student and you like to play music and you'd like to participate in that after we get our first function back online uh, for worship, um, you'll have a chance to uh, ask us and we'll, we can send you an invite and you can participate in music that way. But anyway, so today our daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 106, 1 through 6, and then verses 19 through 23, Exodus 24, 1 through 8, First uh, Peter 5, 1 through 5, and 12 through 14, or you could have read Psalm 23, always a good one to read, uh, Isaiah 22, 1 through 8, and then 1 Peter 5, 1 through 5, and 12 through 14, again, finishing up with that. And I'm actually going to look at the passage from 1 Peter and talk about tending the flock. Um, and a, dis a disclaimer before I say this, I know that I have several times over the course of the DBRs uh, kind of addressed this issue and the, you know, the idea of bad leaders and bad leaders who take advantage of uh, of the flock and things like that. And it's not because I have some kind of uh, bone to pick. Uh, I don't know, maybe I do, because there are other texts each day. But um, it's a thread in the scriptures and hence a consistent thread in the daily Bible readings, lest you think that I am just completely uh, disgruntled or something. But that's where we are today, because this text from First Peter, uh, Peter is uh, giving advice about how to and how not to tend the flock. And and he is worried about people doing it for all the wrong reasons. Um, so he must, Peter must have thought it was a problem, uh, this idea of people fleecing the flock instead of tending them. Uh, so he gives guidelines on it. And starting in verse, uh, verse 5, he says, uh, I'm sorry, verse um, verse 1, he says, I exhort the elders among you, to tend the flock of God that is in your charge, exercising the oversight not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you do it, not for sordid gain, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those who are in your charge, but be examples to the flock. So he is talking about how to tend the flock of God that is in your charge. Um, and so because... That's the important thing to remember. After all, they're not your sheep. That's what he's telling them. Like He's very clear to use this language saying, these are God's sheep. This is God's flock, and he has put you in charge of them, but they're not yours to do with as you please. In other words, he's saying these people in the church that you have been given responsibility for are not yours to benefit from, right? They're not a means to an end for you. They are not there simply so that you can... Uh, so that you can have a better life or a better lifestyle. That's not what this is about. He's saying you're there to care for them as God would have them cared for. Um, you know, this was, I think, something Peter took personally. If you remember this incident that he had this, you know, kind of nice relaxed breakfast by the lake with Jesus after Jesus' death and resurrection, um, it, if you want to look at it, go read John 21 uh, but Jesus asks Peter, he you know, says, do you, do you love me more than these, you know? And I'm not sure what the these were. Like, I don't know if he's pointing to, at the other disciples or if he's pointing at all the fish that Peter had gone out fishing in the middle of the night for instead of doing what he was supposed to be doing. But Jesus wants to know, like, do you, do you really love me? And Peter's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know it. And Jesus's response is, well, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. Um, asks him the question three times, and Peter answers it three times. Um, you know, if you love me more than these, if you love me more than all this other stuff, if you love me more than yourself, you will feed my sheep. I think Peter took that personally, and I think he took it personally when he saw people not doing that, when he saw people 
who were supposed to be tending the Lord's sheep, tending God's flock, uh, just out after themselves and not really about what God would have them to be about. So that's the DBR for today, such as it is. Have a good afternoon, have a good evening, and we will see you tomorrow. Actually, I won't see you tomorrow. Huggins will be back for another Friday installment of the DBR, and I'm sure he will have an incredible insight into the scriptures. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Boop.